Hi there, I'm Stephen Hopper, news editor with GameZone.com. Welcome to GameZone's March installment of our uh, monthly video cast segment. In this segment, we're going to be touching base about on some of the more recent happenings in the video game. One of the biggest news items on the plate is EA's possible acquisition of 2K Games. Uh, obviously, EA knows this would be a huge ace in the hole for several key reasons, certainly not the least of which being uh, that it would effectively make them the only third-party sports game maker uh, out there, which is, you know, big bucks for both EA and 2K Sports. Uh, additionally, it'll give them control over, you know, the upcoming Bioshock sequel and, of course, the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Such a move would be, obviously, quite a boon for EA and would undoubtedly firmly cement them in the lead of third-party publishers, even beyond the Activision Blizzard merger. Um, however, it does seem interesting uh, to note that um, 2K has been rather stoic in the face of EA's offers. Um, so it'll be pretty interesting to see how this uh, pans out, and it could have some pretty major effects on the video game industry as a whole if it actually happens. Uh, another big event this past month has been the launch of Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii. Uh, the biggest game ever in the console's short existence, Brawl has been cleaning house in terms of sales, uh, quickly selling over a million copies in the short time it's been out. Uh, of course the game is a lot of fun to play, uh, but the success has really come at a price uh, as trying to sign on to a multiplayer game uh, without having someone's friend code can be a pretty trying experience. Uh, it seems to me that Nintendo really underestimated the draw of you know being able to play Smash Brothers online and you know demand outstripped what their servers were ultimately capable of. Uh, hopefully it's not just an issue that Nintendo is going to rectify, but also one that they won't repeat, um, considering the games like uh, Mario Kart Wii are soon to be coming out that will be you know, huge for online gamers. Month, or March has also been a pretty big uh, month for the PSP, uh, with the launch of uh, God of War, Chains of Olympus, and Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. Uh, 2008, on the whole, has already been a pretty big year for the system. Um, is it's really been able to assert itself as a dominant force in the handheld market. Um, not just proving that a system can actually come out and compete with a Nintendo handheld, but it's successfully managed to carve out its own, its own, uh, its own market share and come up with some you know, pretty compelling stuff that you know, would rival a console. Uh, one trend that is kind of disheartening in terms of uh, PSP releases is the uh, steady flow of those games being ported over to the PS2. Um, on the plus side, you know, this gives PS2 owners a chance to, to play these games that were great on a handheld. Um, but unfortunately, uh, the downside is that what often works on a handheld experience doesn't necessarily translate very well to a, to a home console. Um, the recent uh, release of Ratchet & Clank Size Matters uh, being a prime example of that. Um, it was a game that was great on the PSP when it came out a year ago, but uh, the PS2 launch, which just happened uh, a few weeks ago, is you know, pretty lacking. Um, this move also kind of shortchanges the PSP a bit, you know, since porting these games uh, takes away their draw that you know, might incite PS2 owners to pick up a system. But I mean, why bother if they can play these games on their PS2 already? Um, well, that should about do it for GameZone's March video segment. Um, as always, let us know if there are any topics you'd like to hear about by emailing us at webmaster at gamezone.com or check out our GameZone forums and sound off on just about anything you'd want to talk about. Thanks for watching.